Hi guys, it's Jazzy Ray here, and I am back for another reading. Um, today I'm reading for Bri Brianna. She hit me up on Twitter. Hi, Bray. Bray, Bray. Um, I don't know what people call you Bray, but I'm gonna call you Bray. Okay. Um, if you guys like your charts read, hit me up. This is the final week I'm accepting free readings. At the end of the week, well, it is the end of the week. Next week, the end next week. <laughs> Next week will be the final week that I accept free readings. I, I'm going to put that in the other readings. I, I'll put it in the description box. But this week and next week will be the final weeks I'm accepting free readings. Next Friday, I will be posting prices. So if you want a free reading, I suggest you hit me up now. Because after Friday, no more free readings. Until I announce free readings. I'll do free readings from time to time. But we'll talk about that later. But right now... Uh, let's focus on Brianna. So I'm going to show you your chart. This is your chart. Girl, I did your chart. Look at all those Leos. You're a Leo. There's no question. You're a Leo. So your sun's Leo, your moon's Leo, your Mercury's Leo, your Venus is Virgo, your Mars is Scorpio. Oh God, your Mars is Scorpio. <laughs> and then look at that, your ascendant is Gemini. So you're just as much of a Gemini as you are a Leo. And then if you look over here, this is your masculine and feminine energy. As you can tell, your masculine is six and your feminine is four. All right, this is gonna be a quick birth chart reading because I love Leos, so. Let's talk Leos. Now, I'm going to cover everything with, with Sun, Moon, and Mercury in one. Here we go. So your Sun sign is who you are. It's you. So, you know, it's Leo. So it's a masculine sign. It is a fire sign, as you know. And it's fixed. So you have fixed quality, mutable quality, and you have cardinal quality. So fixed quality, signs with fixed quality is Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Aquarius so fixed quality is like it's kind of hard for y'all to adapt to things and change you know because you're so used to doing something or you're so fixated at, or, or being a certain way you only really change when you want to change you know the best example I can use is say you got a paper to do actually I'm gonna say the example for later because this example I gotta explain all of them so then you have the mutable quality which signs with the mutable quality is Gemini Pisces Virgo and Sagittarius complete opposite of, of fixed okay mutable, mutable quality are all about adapting changing you never know what what people you know signs with this mutable quality are going to do you never know how they're going to feel all over the place then you have cardinal quality which is aries capricorn cancer and libra and cardinal quality just means hard work action and, and, and dedication so the best way I can describe is say you got a paper to write, right? Or a project. You got the first draft, second draft, final draft. So the first draft was what do you do with the rough draft, right? You just you just jot down ideas, right? Because you don't know what you're gonna do. That will be mutable. That's mutable. Then you have the second draft, which you're just okay, you kinda have you kind of know what you want to do and you just you just go ahead and just type it out or whatever that's fixed now the final draft is like okay i'm gonna clean it up a little bit so we can get i'm gonna clean up the second draft so we can go ahead and get an a on this paper and i'm gonna put my hard work into this paper into this final draft that is cardinal so hopefully that will explain what those qualities are so hopefully that helps um, it's polar opposite. Leo's polar opposite is Aquarius. And what does the sun do? The sun lights everything up. The sun gives life. So Leo is the life of the party. Leo is the light that shines the room. Leos are bold. Leos are confident. Leos know what they want. Leos can be expensive. <laughs> they want nothing but the best quality. And this is fat. People say Taurus is like that too. No, Taurus is, they do want the best quality, but that's like with everything. When, it come, when, when Leo says they want the best quality, it means expensive. <laughs> expensive. So, Leos have this bad rep of it's all about Leo and they can be cocky at times. 
and that's what people get misconstrued not saying some leos can't be cocky because i do know some cocky ones but leos are just confident they're bold you can't tell them nothing they light up a room you know they they get they, you know they the life of the party you know and plus the symbol is lion what is lion king of the jungle lion lioness queen of the jungle i am a lion hear me war so it's like with lion you know wants to hear wants to war you're gonna hear lion war because they are the kings you know and and, and queens you know that's just how it is the downside to being a leo well first let me talk about the fact that leos are loyal they love hard when they see someone that they want they get it no matter what even if it takes them years they will get it however sometimes they can be a little crazy <laughs> because i don't want to say leos are clingy it's just that leos i ain't gonna lie y'all are attention whores y'all are attention whores and when y'all want attention from somebody y'all will literally throw fits to get the attention that you want and not only that leos can be possessive at times and jealous like for example i'm a gemini let's say you dating somebody who's a gemini right leo can flirt with anybody because leos are flirts gemini's are flirts too gemini's not going to care if leo flirts trust me they're not going to care because as long as it's like it depends on how you flirt you see what i'm saying that's in gemini like in gemini's mind it depends on how you flirt okay it depends on the body language and all that now let's say gemini starts flirting Ooh, Leos do not like when Gem when people flirt. It's okay for Leo to flirt, but anybody else can't do it because you're gonna feel disrespected. Because Leos don't like to be to feel embarrassed or insulted. And when anybody, especially Gemini, just signs that are very flirtatious, or just anybody that's very flirtatious, does that, they don't mind. Leos don't mind dating people that's flirtatious because that's probably how they came to be. But it's like there's a limit. Okay, you only, it's like Leo, it's like, listen, you only flirt with me. You only do for me. You don't do for anybody else. Okay, that's Leo. So, you probably got a little jealous streak in you, girl. <laughs> Not a bad thing, because you're loyal. And, and, you know, like I said, Leos are very loyal until you give them a reason not to be. And I kind of just talked about the moon the moon sign is all uh, your emotions and i kind of just covered that like leos can be possessive leos are attention starved and they they are passionate when it comes in like in their arguments and sometimes they may say things that they don't mean in an argument and things like that because they're so bold and it's like and so passionate it's like you're gonna hear me you're gonna hear me like they hate being talked over and all this other type of stuff because it's like it, when leo is feeling some type of way leo is in that moment if you take that moment away you're attacking leo's pride when you do that so you probably somebody in an argument you probably like let me talk are you gonna let me talk let me talk you i'll, I'll let you talk not let me talk let me get my words out and you and it's like it's like a big performance for you like when you emotional it's like a performance for you everything is like a performance to leo everything um mercury planet communication kind of just cover that kind of just cover that they're very bold. They like to talk about the future and and money. <laughs> no, Leos are not really about money though. They're not really about money. Uh, they're not really money hungry. They just want the best. That's 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 it. But Leos talk about life and what what they got going on and how you know the future and you know and. They like to talk about themselves a lot and they want a partner that's not ashamed to talk about themselves as well so it's like leo is like why do i have to be ashamed when i talk about myself and i and, and, I, and I boast about my accomplishments why should i feel ashamed you know that's leo so they always talk y'all always talk about y'all um accomplishments but y'all are very very passionate in your conversations whether it's an argument or an actual conversation you are passionate about what you want out of life all about that passion. Leo has passion, man. Passion. Like Aries and Sag. I said Sagittarius is playful, too playful. So, um, all right. So let's talk about your Virgo and Venus. Um, or Venus and Virgo. So Virgo, my bad. Virgo is a feminine sign. It's an earth sign. 
its quality is mutable its planet is mercury its polar is pisces and this tells me for one virgos are very humble and very real and very grounded and they're perfectionists so you want the perfect lover and this also tells because because virgos you know venus is how we love and how we want to be loved so venus not venus virgo um they are people pleasers they they're happy when their partner is happy so you'll probably do whatever it takes which kind of goes along with leo like you'll do whatever it takes to not only get a partner but to keep a partner you know you're willing to make sacrifices um sometimes because your son is leo so it kind of it kind of conflicts a little bit but you know venus is down you know venus is gonna it's gonna ride for you but sometimes venus has this attitude it's like because venus is like the perfect sign when they feel like they done everything they can do to be the perfect lover and your partner like you're probably the type of person like i did everything i could do and your partner is still mess is still messing around still not happy still like this then it's like virgo will be like you know what or if you if your venus is virgo you're probably like you know what i did all i could do for you i don't know what else i can do and then you leave because it's it's, it's, it's not you at, at that point you think it's not it's not me it's you because i'm doing everything i can it's you <laughs> it's you <laughs> so but that that's that's how you love um you're down for pleasing your partner which brings me to Mercury. I mean, Mars, which is in Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> so your Mars represents your work ethic, your aggression, sex. It's Scorpio. Scorpio is a feminine sign. It's a water sign. Its element is also fixed. Um, it's ruled by two planets, which is Mars and Pluto like i said mars is for aggression and pluto is like the plan of the darkness not evil but dark and death and stuff and it kind of it goes together it goes together your polar is taurus did i mention that um some people say that you're um you're supposed to like marry your polar opposite so like your polar opposite is aquarius they say you're supposed to marry your polar opposite i don't know if that's true I feel like Aquarius and Le and, and Leo would, would, would clash way too much because both of y'all are sarcastic as hell. So I don't know, but anyway, here we get on to Mars. So now, what's important for Scorpio in order for Scorpio to have a great work ethic and just to you know be great at what they do, they have to trust their instincts because trust is a very very big thing for Scorpio. And Scorpio, it's hard to like let Scorpio. You know, let's not even let's. It's easy to let Scorpio in, but it's hard for Scorpio to let other people in. Sometimes they're scared to try new things because of the trust factor. You know, but once they trust their instincts and trust, like trust themselves, and they trust other people, then it's easy for them to to adapt and to be themselves and to be comfortable. Because Scorpio already gets they get a bad rep as it is of being crazy and having that sharp tongue and and they're evil and they're into like crazy sexual stuff which might be true but <laughs> but it doesn't have to apply to you necessarily because your son is leo and your and your son's gonna show throughout like people will know you're a leo so it's like you know um your anger well scorpio has a razor sharp tongue and they believe in revenge so you're not saying you did it because you probably you probably got revenge on somebody and you did it unknowingly they scorpios are the type is this type of sign that will get you fired purposely over something petty not even something serious something petty because scorpio is petty okay um they'll get you fired they will um talk really bad about you uh make up rumors cuss you out sleep with your man <laughs> that's score and they won't feel bad for doing it because they feel like you deserved it because you did this to me you know i bet you pretty much every catfish i've seen as far as like a, a episode where somebody was being petty they catfish just for a petty ass reason i bet you they were scorpios or they had scorpio on their chart i bet you um so you're you probably had a little petty some petty moments and leo's already petty enough so you probably extra extra petty 
um, which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. We all got that in us. Um, and your sex. So, like I said, they get this reputation that, oh, they're into some freaky Fifty Shades of Grey type stuff. That might be true, but that's not what Mars is. With what it is, is that would be more sun sign. That's or or even Venus. That wouldn't be Mars. Mars is how you do it. So, and what comes with it. So, Scorpios. Not saying they can't be promiscuous. Anybody can, but in order for a Scorpio to really have sex with someone, they have to have an emotional bond, an emotional link, even when the other person doesn't know that they have been linked and Scorpio uses sex as another way of saying I love you so you know when you give yourself to somebody you expect you link to that person so you expecting a full-on relationship after that actually not even y'all are you're already in if in your head you're already in a relationship you know because that link has already been it's already been established before the sex that's kind of how the sex came to play but the problem is, sometimes you have people who they don't use sex for that reason. They have sex just for fun. Or they feel like, well, it's too early to have sex. Or I'm not. Because Scorpio would take that as, oh my gosh, you're not really into me because you don't want to have sex with me. Or, oh my God, I had sex with this person. I gave myself to this person. And this person just used me like I was a toy. So, you know, you probably would want to find somebody who loves sex just as much as you do but who ha who's having sex and there's some type of emotional connection because otherwise you're gonna get hurt because you need that emotional connection as far as the freakiness go that that could that yeah <laughs> now your ascendant is Gemini I'm a Gemini so you're, you're pretty much a Gemini like me um so it's a masculine sign it's an air sign its element is mutable its plan is mercury which is the plan of communication it's polar opposite is sagittarius which means you're fun you are gemini is the best sign we're not going to argue <laughs> uh, gemini's are very free-flowing people we don't judge we like to have a good time we like for other people to have a good time but we have to be careful we have to be careful because you probably tend to switch up sometimes <laughs> Because you're sending this Gemini, so you probably do have a moment where you switch. But you're probably switching up because you probably discovered some discovered somebody was fake, and you're probably like, you know what? If you're not gonna be fake with me, I mean, if you're not gonna be real with me, I'm not gonna be real with you. And that's the biggest misconceptions of Gemini is that we switch just for the fun. The, the, I can't talk just for the fun of it, but that's not true. We found out something about you, and now we're switching, and that's just what it is. And you're probably very because even though Gemini's are very like they wing everything we are calculated too we we are calculated as well we're always 10 steps ahead of you so when you think Gemini doesn't know something Gemini knows so I would say you are a Virgo you Virgo you are a Leo who's very expressive because Gemini loves to express themselves through their hair their makeup their clothes their art their music whatever they love to express themselves do conversation you know and they're very bold just like leos are so it kind of it kind of goes hand in hand your masculine is six and your feminine is four which means you're almost balanced because that's the goal you want both to be balanced so this tells me that you're probably prefer you prefer to be active you prefer to work at a job or a career that provides for you to be active but you don't necessarily have to. You you can you could probably work at a job where it requires you to sit down. You know, you don't mind walking away from certain situations. You don't mind being aggressive in certain. You're a Leo, so you're gonna be aggressive. But you you don't mind not being aggressive. You don't mind being passive. It's a you know you're almost there. You just you just gotta just find out where is it. What am I what am I not doing that's enough, and what am I doing that's too much. And as a Leo, sometimes y'all can y'all can do too much. <laughs> but hell, Gemini's can do too much too. So, you know, you just gotta work on maybe just figure out figuring out when and where to act in certain situations. Um, as far as like your life and active and stuff like that, you know, like I said, it, it, according to this, you prefer to be active. 
you, you you have moments where you, you you can take a break and sit down, but you probably prefer to be active. You, you don't want to sit down all day, you know. And also, um, you have you have a tendency of being very nurturing and loving because you're, of your feminine sign. Because feminine is your mental and emotions, and masculine is physical. But you're probably also like, listen, we're not about to sit here and cry, girl. Like, like if your girlfriend is crying over some dude cheating on her, you're probably like, you're probably, you know, nurturing her and being there for her. But then at some point, you're gonna be like, you know what, girl, we're not about to sit here and cry over the, over this guy. We're not about to sit here and cry over him. We're about to get up. We're about to look cute. We're about to go out and have some fun. So that's 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 the best way I can describe it. <laughs> but the goal is you want both of these to be equal. That's your ultimate goal. So yeah, I hope I didn't go too hard on Leo's. I don't think I did. I think I, I think I did y'all some justice. You did say on in the message, don't be afraid to go in on me. No, I hope I didn't. <laughs> but no, I love Leo's. I love Leo's. Y'all y'all confidence, y'all boldness is what I love. Um But y'all can be expensive though. Very, very expensive. Y'all y'all were name brands. Gemini's don't wear a name brand. I mean, we do, but we we wear stuff because it just looks cute, not not because it's a name brand. Y'all wear stuff because it's a name brand. <laughs> but um, yeah. So if you guys, I hope this resonates with you. You know, um, God, my hair. Um, if you guys would like a birth chart reading, my contact is down below. My social media is down there. My email. Um, so I'm going to say this in all the videos. This week. And next week will be the final week I'm accepting free readings. After that, I'm going to start um, posting prices. So I will have a video furthering that information. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.